Here at Emerson Academy of Dayton, there are 750 students. And everyone here is very proud. And what is normally a very structured environment has turned into controlled chaos. Girls 12. Has to have Velcro. Medium girls socks. <laughs> but this chaos is a welcome sight. It looks like those are keepers. Shoes for the Shoeless is a nonprofit group. Guess what? We're going to give you some new shoes. You want a pair of new shoes? Okay. For the past five years, the organization and its volunteers have gone around the Miami Valley putting new shoes on kids' feet. It's really exciting. Do you like these socks? Chris Horlacher is the brains behind the chaos. There really was no one meeting that need. She's been here since day one. Does feel good? You like this? All right. But early on, Chris admits she struggled with what she saw kids going through. We see kids whose toes are curled under because they chronically wear shoes that don't fit, and we physically have to uncurl their toes to measure their feet. She started sharing those sorts of stories with other people in our community and the money to buy shoes, and the volunteers to match the shoes with the kids started coming in. So I had to, I had to bob and weave a little bit to get out of the way of those moving socks. Along with new shoes, each child gets new socks and underwear. They don't own socks. We always see kids who don't own underwear. Simple things, but they mean so much. Right now, twos. <laughs> volunteers this time around you stand up for me? are men and women from Wright Pat. The chaos is worth it. Box after box, shoe after shoe. Ooh, pretty. And for most of the kids here, it's like a dream come true. I get new shoes, and I don't have my old ones anymore. Those old ones were three sizes too big. Everything happening in this room really puts things in perspective. And now something new for Shoes for the Shoeless. We're making it for a child at Children's Medical Center who's in the hospital. It's teaming up with Dayton Children's Hospital for what's called Kindness Matters. Get well soon. It's a way for these students to reach out and give back to their community. Every kid in this building will be making a get well card for a kid at Children's Hospital. And at the end of the day, you can't help but wonder who gets more out of this. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. You're welcome. Let's walk around and see how they feel. Thank yous and smiles. We get way more than we get. Everything here is priceless. Mark, set, go. Um, it's a blessing to help someone who needs help.